Brislington, right on the edge in the southeast of the city of Bristol, see it's a unique project. A registered charity set up through a partnership between the probation and social services, the prison service, schools, pupil referral units, youth inclusion programs, amongst others. Right, anyone know what this is? Error. Is that dangerous? Yeah. Shoot oxygen into your bloodstream. For over 30 years, the Wills Project has played a significant role in providing training and counselling in employment, road safety and crime reduction for young people from socially deprived areas in Bristol. I'm starting to look at the nitty gritty bits now. What's he got around his neck? Tie. Tie. Is that a good idea? No. Why not? Something gets caught in it. You lean over an engine, be all tied up. Yeah, it could be yeah. 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 strangling you within seconds, yeah. wouldn't it? So, no Hello problem. Richard, so you are the Deputy Manager of the Wheels Project. Could you describe for me in a bite size what the general aims of the project is? The aims of the project are to engage the young, the young people. A lot of them are having problems at school, problems at home. Uh, so what we're, we're just trying to give them something to engage them, an interest outside of school, something they can achieve. A lot of them are low achievers. They can all achieve something here. So this looks very much like a professional workplace boardroom. Big central table with chairs around. Definitely a different setting from school classroom for your students. Yeah, it is. We're not a school and we remind them of that fact while they're here many times. This is not a school and we're not teachers and they're in a working environment, which is what they're going to be doing when they leave school. And I think they quite enjoy coming out and being somewhere completely different. So on their very first day, you brief them on the health and safety laws and practices of the workshop. Well, it's general health and safety, really. It's, it's, it's something that should be done wherever they go into employment. And we just give them a, a background and an understanding of health and safety, why it's there, what it's, what it's about. And then we run through what they can do, what they can't do, where they can go, where they can't go, fire drills, um, all this sort of thing, the rules and regulations. Rules. They've never got rules, haven't they? Our rules are, right? I'm not a teacher. He's not a teacher, we're mechanics by trade. Uh -huh. So don't treat us like teachers. Because yeah. your attitude affects my attitude, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? If, yeah. you, if you're stroppy with me, I'm going to be stroppy back. Yeah. So we'll all have a laugh instead. It's much better. Yeah. I find it quite a challenge, actually. Quite rewarding. Ah. <coughs> don't touch. So to the corner of the central workshop garage is a triple layered cage housing up to about 12 go-karts. 12 go-karts, yeah. So what do the students get to do with these? They take them apart, every last nut and bolt, under supervision of course. When they've done that, the following week they'll come in and rub the frames down. And that's a bit of a boring job, but it's, it's our way of saying that um, you can't get what you want without doing what you don't want. The better the job they make, the better the paint job that turns out, because once they've rubbed it down, then it's paint them whatever colour they like, provided we've got it. Right then. Test time. Right, you've got 11 out of 10 on here, guys. All right? You don't get 11 out of 10, you can't stay. What are the different kinds of groups that you get on this course that you've had over the years? Well, initially they were sent to us as part of a court order from the magistrate and they had to complete a certain amount of time here, which was determined by the magistrate. They had to turn up on time, leave on time. That stopped some years ago and, and um, we get mainly schools now, schools, youth groups, and they come up of their own free will. With the schools, they tend to be the ones that have behavioural problems, attitude problems, that sort of thing. So again, the idea is, is to try and turn it all around. We seem to have been pretty successful with that. So it's very much given all these kids that are going through problems, criminal records, giving them a second chance to try and turn their life around. Yeah. And also kids in school as well, who are not having the best of times. School is not so much an environment for them, and then you're sort of taking them away. Yeah, it's, it's a more positive environment. School seems to be quite negative. Don't do this, don't do that, do this, do that. Whereas here, we're, we're quite relaxed, apart from when it comes to health and safety, of course, we're not so relaxed there. But on the whole, we're pretty relaxed. The idea is for them to learn something, enjoy it, have fun, and see whether or not it's for them, and whether they want to carry it on as a career, go to college, whatever. So this is the second mechanics workshop. 
I can see there are a few cars and a couple of vans. It's pretty much half the size of a football pitch and it seems very much like a step up from the carts workshop. Yeah, it is. The idea is we've set up a proper garage workshop. That's what it is, proper garage workshop. Here, every car in here has got the keys in. They all go, all right? Don't get in or in the, any of the vehicles unless you've been given permission to do so. We also do what we call a community vehicle course, which is where the group will have a vehicle and they'll renovate it, go right through it and then donate it to a charity. And we've been fortunate we've had several vehicles from the police when they've finished with them, we've renovated them. So at the end of the cart training, you reward these kids by taking them out cart racing? Yeah, we go down to um, Avonmouth, to the carting centre down there, and they, they do a carting session, so they're on the track for half an hour, split into two sessions of 15 minutes. Well, it doesn't sound much of a reward, but sitting in one of those things for half an hour, they all come off aching and oh, they're tired, and it's great to see. But they all smile, and they're all... The adrenaline's pumping away and they're having a really good time. So it, it's worth us doing and it's, worth, it, it's just nice to see their faces at the end of it, how happy they are. Definitely something that they couldn't possibly gain from just being locked off to a school environment. No, this is a one-off and uh, I think our success shows in the length of time we've been going. You know, a lot of charities come and go, don't they? But our idea is to keep it small and keep it going. And 30 years on, we're still here. Fantastic. OK, guys, I'm sure you'd like to give a big round of applause to the Wheels Project, who've got this all organised for you, many possible. So give a big round of applause and your supervisor, your body,